Good morning. You know, just taking a look around here at the McNamara Terminal at Detroit Metropolitan Airport, there are some travelers still wearing masks, but others, well, they've ditched this mask and are happy that the mask mandate is no longer needed. Mid-air celebration for some, others in the terminal waiting to take off or pick up their bags when the news dropped. I'm excited the White House dropped it as quick as a federal court shot it down, so it's, uh, I'm glad that things are happening quickly. I don't think it should be a federal uh, mandate. U.S. District Judge Catherine Mizell striking down the national mask mandate on public transportation in a court ruling on Monday, declaring the mask mandate, quote, unlawful. The TSA no longer enforcing masks in airports or on planes. But some passengers say the ruling did create some confusion. Passengers telling 7 Action News that airline employees were still enforcing the mandate, even though the mandate was no longer in effect. Don't wait on them if they don't have don't a mask. Don't wait on them if they don't have a mask even pulling out their phones to show the latest headlines. CDC mask mandate for travelers no longer in effect. Detroit Metro Airport releasing this statement reading in part, quote, the Wayne County Airport Authority has learned the Transportation Security Administration will not enforce its security directives and emergency amendment requiring mask use on public transportation and in transportation hubs, including Detroit Metropolitan Airport at this time. The White House not happy. This is obviously a disappointing decision. The CDC continues recommending wearing a mask in public transit. Others say while the mask is now optional, they'll still keep them on. I will continue to wear the mask. Now, you still will need your mask if you are headed to the airport via rideshare, Uber, or Lyft. Now, we have reached out to Uber and Lyft for a statement regarding their stance on the ruling that took place yesterday. Once we do learn more information and get a statement from both of those companies, we'll be sure to post it on our website and bring it to you right here on 7 Action News. Reporting at Metro Airport, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. All right, so we'll definitely see some changes there as we uh, begin our travel, as the weather warms up and people, you know, get the those summer vacation plans underway. Peter Maxwell, live for us at Detroit Metro. Thank you.